If you study the ancient Kemetic tradition and the allegories in the story, there was a being named Osiris. Osiris is the Jesus in the Bible. Everything they said about Osiris, they say about Jesus. Osiris was born of a virgin birth. Osiris died for three days. Osiris was resurrected. Osiris was called the Son of God. Osiris was called the Lamb of God. The Jesus in the Bible is the exact same Osiris. And what happened with Osiris, Osiris was chopped up into 13 parts. Peep game, the Egyptians is telling the story that will travel through time and carry the essence of God realization within the story of Osiris. So Osiris' body was chopped up into 13 parts. Uh, they took the phallus of Osiris and threw it into a, a lake and a fish came and ate the phallus of Osiris. So Osiris' wife went to find all the 13 parts of Osiris. She could find everything except for the phallus. And the phallus represents the regenerative principle. Now what happened is in ancient Kemet, in the temple, they had someone called a hierophant. The hierophant was the priest or the high priest. And the high priest was a keeper of the secret name of, 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 of Ra, of uh, the sun god. The secret name of God in the Egyptian temples was called the Hierophant. And the Masonic people stole that teaching and put it in their lodges because it was the Hierophant in ancient Kemet that would raise you from a dead level from a dead level to a living perpendicular on the square. And he's the one that would bring your compass above your square. And all this is in the hieroglyphics in the Kemetic temples with the Hierophant. And the Hierophant would give the initiate his lion's paw strong grip. And he would raise him up on the square of righteousness. And the Masonic people took that square and compass and put it on the car and said they had some original teaching. But if they look back, all of that came out of ancient Kemet with the Hierophant. And he was, what are the Masons doing? They're in search of the lost name of God. The Masons say, I'm traveling to the east in search of God's secret name. Well, the Hierophant in Egypt was the one who sat in the east who had God's secret name. And he would give it to you and raise you from a dead level to a living perpendicular on the square. And that secret name is what we said earlier in the Egyptian scripture where it said uh, he ate the name of God and became God. The shortest distance for you to manifest God is to find a mantra or hekai, a hekau, an Egyptian word for power, or study with somebody like me who got some words of power from the sheikhs in West Africa, and you recite these words, and you will manifest God within yourself. Me, like I said, I came from the nation of gods and earth under the honorable Elijah Muhammad's teachings. I will never, ever believe in the mystery of God in the sky somewhere. That's impossible. I cannot believe in the mystery of God in the sky because God is the one who lives inside of me. And the closer I get to myself, the closer I get to Allah. So the Sufis say, I set on a journey to find God and I found myself. 